G'day everyone, it's James Greenshields here. Thought I'd drop on and give you a uh, bit of a take on what I feel a lot of people are facing at the moment, and, and that's the feather, the brick, and the train. I, mean, I believe life's our biggest university. It's the thing that can teach us the most, and you know, life comes along and tickles me under my chin with this feather, and I get really annoyed, and I throw it away, and I go, get away from me. Now, a situation doesn't go the way I'm, I think it's meant to go, so I start just charging on, thinking my way through the situation. All of a sudden, bang. Something goes wrong again. I get smacked in the face with a brick. And I go, mm, what's going on with this? Why, why is my partner now, why am I in the doghouse for four days? Why are my children really not talking to me anymore? Why, why didn't something go the way I thought it was meant to go at work? What's happening right now? But I'll, again, I'll just think my way through it and I'll keep charging on. And then all of a sudden, bang, I get smacked by a train. And you know, I lose my job, I lose my partner, my kids walk out on me. I, Whatever it is, you know, life can hit us with this massive train. And then, well, you see, I took it to a new level, didn't I? You know, anyone who knows me, I got hit by a roadside bomb. So do we stay stuck in that moment or do we actually start listening to life? And at the moment, I see and work with a lot of people who just aren't listening to life at the moment. They keep thinking their way through it and, and everything... They're going back to they're going back to the old way of them doing things, their old way of of trying to think their way through the situation. And at the moment, if you haven't figured it out, that ain't working anymore. You know, the corporate world's collapsing at a, at a rate that's crazy talk. Um, jobs are going under. There's a lot of stress out there, and the family life. You look at men at the moment, and the situation men are in. We we're, we're thinking our way through it instead of feeling our way through it. So a lot of people ask me, well, how did you go from where you were? to almost taking your own life, to being where you are now. And I, I, I have no, um, I don't hold back now in saying I love my life. I have an incredible wife and I'm connected to her. I have incredible kids and I'm connected to them. But that was work, you know, I had to work at that. I just didn't get that. It's like, I was talking to a macadamia farmer today, and it is, it's like a macadamia nut. If you ever seen one, the outer shell is really easy to get off. But the thing between you and that juicy nut is actually a hard nut. And it's like my journey initially, I, I started to bring self-awareness to my journey and I started to become aware of my patterns of behavior and my belief systems and I, I started to realize, holy cow, man, what the hell have I been thinking for so long? And then I started to beat the crap out of myself. I, because of my own self-judgment, with my increased level of self-awareness, my self-care started to go through the floor, my self-trust went through the floor. Until I reached a point of realizing, oh, this, this judgment of myself is not helping me. I've got such an attachment to so many things that just ain't helping me. And so what I started to realize is just let go, James. Let go and, and let myself feel. And go back to this thing that, you know, a lot call intuition, gut feel, whatever you want to call it, does not matter. But it's not this. You know, this rational left brain thing, it just, it ain't happening anymore. It needs to become in balance with this, but particularly down into our heart. We need to balance it all. There's no good nor bad in it, it just is. And if you're getting a headache at the moment, if you're coming confused, then what's happening is you're using the wrong thing for the wrong situation. So right now, it's about, it's about understanding who we really are. And it's about getting really clear and believing that we can have what we want. Be that in a relationship or what. And with our partners, you know, at times, with your self-awareness coming up, you're gonna find that your connection to your partner actually stops. Why? Because you're in blissful ignorance before. And now you're not in blissful ignorance anymore. Your awareness is up and it's like, oh shit, where's my connection? Oh, where, 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 where? Allow yourself to move through that. Go to what you need, the self-nurturing things that you need to do to actually have a relationship with yourself and trust that if you're meant to be with your partner, then they're going to be there for you and it's going to grow into a rich, nurturing relationship. And if it's not meant to be there, well then, hey, it's not supporting you or it's not supporting them. What, what can happen? Work to control your feelings and lose control of your life. It's, thought, it's, quite, it's quite a hilarious thing. Feelings, though, so often we believe we can control stuff like anger. The thing about anger, anger, sadness, fear, shame, and guilt, they all build up inside of us. That I don't believe in anger management. It, doesn't, it does not work. 
you're trying to control this beast and most of the time it's already out of the cage it's about going inside and really allowing that emotion to flow and and once you you're allowed to flow you'll find that it's not so much control but it's recognition of the feelings and the messages that they're sending us now and then we can go right from those messages where to from here and that's when you engage this thing but without this thing leading the way this thing ain't got a chance so it's about balancing ourselves learning from life instead of pushing up against it trust this has been worthwhile and I know that a lot of you at the moment think you're in, a, in the, you know, the hurt locker. My time in Iraq showed me first world problems. And if we can just take a moment to take ourselves out of the drama of the situation, just breathe, breathe in through your nose, just take a deep, long breath, and just, just center yourself and go, right, where to from here? And allow myself to completely listen. Then... We're going to start making steps in the direction we're meant to be going in life. And life's going to start supporting us instead of smacking us around. Matter of fact, those smacks, they were support anyway because we were off path and it's just trying to get us back on path. So work with life, not against it, because that's what it's all about, living it to our maximum potential. Trust it's been beneficial. Much love to you all. And remember, gents, if you're hurting, if you're stuck, you're hollow, you reckon you've got more to give in life, put your hand up. Much love. Cheese.